Hi, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to actually import Windows apps from the Windows Store into Stream Deck. To get started, what you're going to do is you're going to click on your search. You're going to type in run. Click on the run. And then what that's going to do is it's going to open up your run command. From here, you're going to type in shell colon apps folder with a capital A and a capital F, and then click on OK. That's going to bring up in a special window called Applications. When you install an app from the Windows Store in Windows 10, it will put this into this actual folder. For my instance, I'm going to use iTunes, because I use iTunes quite a bit, and I'm going to put it into my Stream Deck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a right mouse click, and I'm going to come down here and choose Create Shortcut. You're going to get a notice that says, Windows cannot create a shortcut here. Do you want to create the shortcut on your desktop instead? Click on Yes. With that shortcut in place, what I'm going to do is I normally keep everything organized in different areas. So I'm going to actually put that into where I normally keep my um, stream file. So I'm going to actually put that to where... I have a uh, folder. I'm going to copy this over to where I keep all my actual shortcuts for my Stream Deck. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up your Stream Deck software. And as you can see, I already have an icon for it on my Stream Deck. But I'm going to show you again how easy it is to do this. You're going to want to choose Open. From the side, just drag it into the spot. So now you'll see where it says app and file click on the three dots and then you just go to where you actually have the files which is stream deck shortcuts then you just click on the iTunes shortcut and click open now the app file will actually show that listed in there but you're gonna have this funny looking icon so I just do a right mouse click choose a new icon and I'm going to choose from file. And you can see I already have one downloaded. I just chose one off the internet. And just choose open. Now I have the same icon that I used before. And I can just put in here iTunes. And I can either have it at the bottom. Or I can change any way I want to have this on here. I can change the, the font. Um, I can change if I want it in the middle or if I want it at the top. I like it at the bottom though. I can actually change the actual size of, of it if I want to make it bigger or smaller. Change the color. And now, so now if I push this button on my Stream Deck, iTunes opens up. If you found this video useful, go ahead and click that like button. If you really found this video extremely useful, go ahead and click that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and the bell next to it to be notified when we release new content. Thanks for watching.